I'm Gary Herman with the Alexander County Economic Development Corporation, and we're working on our Buy Local Alexander County campaign. This is the Alexander County Business Spotlight. We're on location at Ray's Barbershop, located at 85 Old Mountain Road in Hidnight. It's our honor to have the owner, Ray Johnson, with us today. Thank you for letting us come into your shop today, Ray. Good morning, Gary. Uh, glad to have you here today. Oh, it's a pleasure, Ray. It's always good to see you. Uh, I know you've been here in Alexander County for a long time, uh, I guess numerous decades. Tell us how you got your start here in Alexander County as a barber. Well, I've raised in Alexander County. Of course, I graduated from the old Head Night High School in the summer of 1966. It was real dry. I was a tobacco farmer with my dad. I was still living at home. I told Daddy, I said, there's got to be something better than this to do. So in January of 1967, I went to barber school in Charlotte, uh, North Carolina at uh, 404 East Trade Street. When I got out there, I started my apprenticeship in at the Hickory Barbershop in Hickory, which was in uh, uh, 1967, and I I stayed there for almost three years, and I got uh, I worked a little while before I got drafted in the military, about six months at Forest Heights Barbershop in Stageville. Then I got drafted when I got out in uh, August of 1971. I started in Hidnight, not at the location I am now. I started at the old Willits Barbershop in, uh, over on uh, next to B.L. Miller's old store, which a lot of the old folks remember. It's pr presently the Head Night Center now. But I stayed there from 1971 to, to 1984, and that's where I'm at now at the uh, 85 Old Mountain Road location. I've been, I've been here since 1984. All right. Yeah, I wasn't aware of the uh, former location, so that's interesting. Yeah, 1984 here at your present location in Hidden Night here on Old Mountain Road. And it's kind of rare, Gary. All the shops I've worked in, this is uh, the one in Hickory, the one in Stageful, and all, everybody is either shops have been tore down or burnt down. This is the only present location of the shops I've worked in the, in the past that's uh, still standing. It's, um, it's really a two-bedroom mobile home redesigned by myself. I uh, took the um, uh, took the uh, child's bedroom. That's where I cut, which you'll see in just a few minutes. And I've had different people working here in the past, but presently I'm just working by myself. I I just about as soon work by myself. I know what I'm going to do and who's going to be here on time. And seem like the people I've worked in the past they don't work as hard as I do. Well, you do work hard. I can testify to that because uh, I am one of your customers, and my both my boys like to come here. Uh, and and just so the folks out here in Alexander County know, uh, he's uh, affectionately known as Razor Ray, and some people even call this Razor Rays instead of Ray's Barbershop. So uh, it's just a, a good place. Uh, if you if you don't have a barber, Ray's a good one. He really gives you a good cut for the money, and uh, he's a pleasant person to deal with. So uh, we encourage you to come out to Ray's Barbershop. I charged ten dollars for a long time till last August in uh, two thousand twelve. I went up to twelve dollars, which is a pretty good. It's a pretty good rate now. A lot of people drive to Hickory and they'll pay fifteen to twenty, but I'm pretty much on the even thing at twelve dollars, and that's, that's that's where I'm gonna finish out. I'm sixty five years old now with uh, uh, forty six years experience, so I've been, I've been there. I think for the people I'm. I'm presently closed on Sunday and Monday, and I'm open Tuesday through Saturday. If you want to catch me, you, most all the time I'm here. Yeah, and I, that's true. He is here, you know, Tuesday through Saturday from uh, what what hours, Ray? I open at 7 and close at 5.30. I've, I've given my pretty much uh, heart and soul to – to this career, uh, I've been, I enjoy coming to work every morning, as most of my customers will tell you. I sometimes get here six fifteen to six thirty, but I do. I am up by seven a.m. every morning, and and I, I still love it every day. And uh, I hope the people of Alexander County will uh, like this video. Well, I'm sure they will. And uh, you being a barber, of course, uh, you have the pulse on the community. So if you want to find out what's going on in the county, just talk to Ray when you come down here and visit with him. I'm just joking, but, you know, that's just the way barbers get the, you know, that's what people think. Well, there's, uh, Gary, there's not many shops anymore. Uh, there's a couple uptown. The really old-style barbershops are becoming a lost art. A lot of people's going to the to the hair salons, the cosmetology-type cutting, but uh, – I'll show you here in just a few minutes exactly uh, why I think I'm uh, really a professional. Uh, 
I, I do taper haircuts. I can do a flat top. And uh, I have cut some pretty famous people's hair around here, too. Oh, Charlie's getting a free haircut this morning. Because I couldn't hit no modeling. I'm not used to not talking while I'm cutting. Yeah, Charlie, I can cut any kind of haircut that's ever been drawn. Flat top, high and tight. You will still use a straight razor. A lot of people don't even have one, but uh, that's where old barbering got started way back. People did uh, bloodletting. That's where the barber pole got its got its name from the red, white, the red come from the blue, uh, the blood, the blue come from the veins that the blood come from, and the white come from the white bandages they uh, stopped the bleeding with. Barber's done a lot of uh, what you call bloodletting and tooth pulling back in the early, early days. That's where it's the barber pole got its origination. What do you think of your cut there today? I'm, I'm finished up now. It's the best haircut I ever had. Wow. You have a business on the side, so to speak, that's called Ray Johnson Presents, and that really helps us bring some folks into the community from other counties. And uh, tell us a little bit more about Ray Johnson Presents. Well, uh, Gary, I, I was in, I'm in the Gwaltney Ruiton Club, and a man named Mr. Walter Lackick, he was big into bluegrass. He used to bring Raymond Fairchild here to his home, and then we moved it up to the Gwaltney ball field, which is still there. But uh, with uh, so many thunderstorms, we don't do uh, we don't do the bluegrass there anymore. So I took it upon myself since the uh, county built the uh, auditorium on school property on the uh, 223 school drive. I, I've moved all my shows to the Alexander Central Auditorium, which this show coming up August the 10th, 2013 will be my 17th show at the auditorium. I can't hardly believe I've done that many, but while I'm cutting uh, Robbie's hair this morning, I'll tell a little bit more about some of the shows, how I do it, and um, some of the more of the names that's been here. I've had I've had the best in bluegrass, and also had country legend Gene Watson here. He was here last year with Rhonda Vinson. So I've had some big names here, and hopefully I've brought some. Uh, I brought some gospel music to the county also, the Inspirations Quartet, and hopefully I've uh, brought some enjoyment to the uh, people of Alexander County. Well, you definitely have, Ray, and I know one of your most recent concerts was Ricky Skaggs, and uh, it was well attended. You've had, you've had several sellout performances there at the auditorium, so it's great to have a person who uh, loves Alexander County and wants, wants us to thrive here, and by bringing in these acts, I think you're helping us do that. So we appreciate everything you've done. Yeah, back in 2003, one of my first or second concerts, Ron the Vince and the Rage was here uh, along with the uh, Flyers family and Tanner Mundy. That was one of the that was the first sellout at the auditorium. Uh, Jack Stokes was the uh, uh, superintendent of schools here then, and he recognized me as having the first sellout at the auditorium. And yeah, this this past uh, March, uh, Ricky Skaggs again sold it out. So I've got the I think the only ones that sold out a ticket advantage at uh, Alexander Central Auditorium and. Got some good shows coming up. Okay, Ray. Well, uh, I think your phone number is 632-7926. Uh, I don't believe you accept appointments, but if you need to check and see how full up he is, you can always give him a call, and or uh, he'll tell you whether to come today or the next day. So uh, I know you always have a, a lot of customers here, but you're you're hopefully uh, getting folks in pretty quickly. I've I've got a, I've had a lot of good customers that's gone on to be with the Lord uh, on Back Street out here in Hidden Nine. I, I, at one time, I cut I think three fourths of the men's hair on Back Street in Hidden Nine. I think that uh, speaks pretty highly highly of me here in the community. I'm not bragging on myself, but I think my work and my uh, being open ability as stands for itself. You know, I, I'm pretty much uh, what you see is what you get. That's true with Ray. I mean, he's a he's a good guy. He's a great barber, and uh, we appreciate you having you here in Hid Night in Alexander County. Now, one of course, this is a buy local business spotlight. Tell folks why they should buy locally here in Alexander County instead of supporting these other communities out there. Of course, I pay tax. You know, uh, here with my, I've got almost two acres of land here in the, uh, Alexander County. I'm on Old Mountain Road, and I do pay tax here in the county. And you know, I do pay. Uh, revenue to the north carolina department of revenue so that the more you spend with me getting a haircut that money would come part of that would come back to the county and of course part of it goes to the state but also it's a small county of about 
what, 36, 38, 39,000 people. So uh, you don't have to spend as much money. You know, gas is high now, and a lot of people save a little bit on their gas by also shopping local. And I do sell a lot of uh, hairspray to women, which they don't have to drive out of the county to get. And uh, I do sell a lot of Kenra hairspray and Shaper Plus. I probably sell more of that than any uh, shop in the county, I'd say. Okay, Ray. Well, I think we covered it. Thank you for letting us be here at Ray's Barbershop, 85 Old Mountain Road in Hidden Night, by local Alexander County. For more information about our by local Alexander County campaign, visit the Alexander County EDC website, www.alexanderedc.org, or give us a call, 828-632-1161.